Or is it like we thank all our family and friends for just being here with us tonight? It's, it's very special and valuable to us. Your love, our love, Joel's love. I'm feeling much better cause you know I got this And he is right in heaven And I'm feeling like seven cause I just keep getting hanging out with God Introduce seven very special people to Joel. People who have shared their love and Madam Joel sharing his love with them. Uh, as we read, as each speaker speaks, we will also release a lantern. Thank you for having the patience to understand me. With you, I felt I could talk freely about anything under the sun without ever feeling like I was being judged. Thank you for sharing my moments in pain, joy, and fun. For the adventures, the laughs, the giggles, the pranks, for your love so sweet, so gentle, so powerful, and so real. Thank you most of all for being my protector, my housemate, and my confidant. I wish I had a fraction of the courage you had to stand by and protect the ones you love. The virtue I choose for most compassion. That was innate to me. Uh, not some time ago, when God passed away, I was going through a rough time. I had to transfer to Manila. I had no friends. So it was hard for me. My family still in Bacolod. I was the only one here. So he, when he found out that I was moving here, he took the time and effort to see me every day to make sure that I adjusted and acclimatized to the new environment that I have. He brought me to his parties, events, and even, even uh, introduced me to, to most of his friends. Sometimes, when I'd be alone in the house, I'd just drop by and say, hey, what are you doing? You can have your problems, I'll take you to San Carolina. That's the most peaceful place. You can escape the concrete jungle, just stay there and talk all night. And that's why I chose that virtue. I love you, my friends. As one of the most thoughtful guy in the world, every single Christmas day, he'd uh, give me a call and ask for my my address because uh, he never forgot to uh, send uh, a gift to his uh, his goddaughter, uh, my my daughter Tamara, and um, that's the thing that stuck to me the most, and I'll never forget that. The one one thing that I miss is how uh, he'd be excited about everything all the time. Uh, whenever I would see him, he'd be excited about something. Uh, usually it's a new love interest. Uh, he'd show me his phone. And, uh, he'd be like, church, it's hot. Uh, or he'd, he'd uh, be excited about some new car that we could get to, to impress the girls. Uh, or, some new brand that he brought into his dance. But Joel is just, just so full of positive energy and just so enthusiastic and so full of life. And, uh, I wanted to share with everyone what Joel left me with a lesson. Um, he showed me that it was okay to love yourself and take care of yourself as long as you love the others and care about the others even more. He showed that to me in the small things and the big things he did every day. Why don't you visit? And I'm feeling a little lonely. So you go to him, visit him, and he'd leave you with something when you left. Like, he'd give me a magazine that he thought an article uh, I'd be interested in. Or I'd leave with a CD with the playlist of songs that I could listen to on the way home. You went there for him, but then you left thanking him. And that's really what Joel left me with. And that's his lesson to me. To love one another as Joel loved us. 
God bless. I always wanted to be like Joe. Everything came so naturally for him. With Joel, everything was smooth and graceful. Swimming, basketball, tennis, golf. Joel always had the cleanest stroke, the sweetest swing. He could get away with anything. Joel was plucking his eyebrows 15 years before someone invented the term metrosexual. <laughs> Joel was moving like Jagger the minute he could walk. Whether we were in Casablanca, Manila, or New York, Joel dressed better than anyone else. Joel, the coolest cat, the kindest soul, the most gentle soul, the sweetest soul, the most innocent soul. I always wanted to be like you, Joel. I miss you so much. Of those that you would be lucky enough to have in a lifetime, it was unbreakable. From the many different personalities, he was the glue that held us together. This, this is one of Joel's favorite songs. It's a song about making out.